What's up, everybody? We are augmenting Project Half Send with a couple cans today. Let's have some fun. What's going on everybody? It's JP back with another video for Project Half Send today. We're not focusing on power or performance as much, or at least, you know, immediate performance increase. Rather, we're doing a couple catch cans with the dual radium catch can kit. Uh, first of all, radium catch cans in particular, and really all radium components, uh, I like to say that they are the type of components that you buy a car because of, because you just want to put them on a car. They're so nice and, and really just so clean and neat looking. Um, so we love radium parts as do as does like everybody in the industry. Radium is just, uh, you know, a really popular company. They make stuff very, very well. Anyway, uh, this is a this is one of the two catch cans we're going to put on today. And at the end of the day, why do you put on a catch can? Let's talk about that. Uh, something inside of an engine called blow by exists. And especially in a boosted application where there's really high cylinder pressure, uh, lots, lots of pressure and lots of combustion material is getting pushed past the piston rings down into the crankcase. That needs to be, it causes pressure and it also causes a bunch of, you know, uh, gases and things that aren't supposed to be in the crankcase to go into the crankcase. So a catch can helps intercept those things and keep the crankcase clean. Uh, and, and so it keeps your oil clean. It, it, it kind of gives you just a healthier motor, a healthier environment uh, for the intake system and the crankcase. Uh, the stock system recirculates that blow by back through the intake. That's what gums up all the uh, all the, the valves, especially on direct injection applications. We kind of talked about that in one video before with the spacers. We showed you what the back of our valves look like. That's because of all that blow by that gets recirculated back into the intake. Um, a catch can will intercept all that stuff. Really, ideally, it's best to put this on when you first buy a car. If you ever plan on modifying it or you care about the longevity of the engine and keeping performance maintained throughout the life of the car, especially on a DI car, again, this should be like maybe even the first mod you ever do. So that's how important it is um, to keeping your engine clean. So enough about that. We are going to install this bad boy on the car today. Radium also makes a PCV plate kit, which we'll show you as well. Uh, it is beautiful. It's really nice. Uh, it comes with its own check valve. You can use that by itself without a catch can. Uh, it probably maintains boost a little bit better than the factory check valve. Uh, and then it also works well with either a single catch can or even a dual catch can kit like we're gonna do today. So I'm gonna go into more of the details about where this stuff is gonna fit, how it's gonna work, you know, where the catch can is intercepting this stuff from uh, and so on. So let's go ahead and pop open the hood and check it out. All right, so this is the PCV plate. As you can see, it's uh, it's mostly flat here. It's going to sit right behind the intake manifold on the front of the engine. Uh, there's a plastic cover that has the same shape, general shape as this, that this replaces. It, it comes with two baffles that you're gonna bolt on with the included hardware onto here. And that just helps kind of keep, you know, just too much stuff from, uh, too much pressure from uh, kind of creating probably, I mean, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call myself an expert at understanding the flow of PCV gases and stuff, or uh, crankcase gases and stuff, but you know, it probably controls the flow of the gas and the pressure through, uh, you know, the crankcase coming in through here and then going out these two holes up here. Now, speaking of these two holes um, where you put fittings, this one, we're just gonna plug this one. We're not really generating a crazy amount of crankcase pressure right now with a mostly stock car. Uh, we're just gonna reuse the single vent here with the PCV valve. But if you ever have a situation where you have like, you know, 600 horsepower car, 35 pounds of boost, kind of like our our, uh, our project full send or whatever you want to call it at this point, um, you know, you, would, you can use both of these to have two different areas to relieve pressure, uh, which is really necessary once you have a lot of crankcase pressure. So we're going to plug this side, uh, but just understand that you can expand this later if you have 
a vent that you want to use or another auxiliary catch can, something like that. So this is going to sit right on the front of the engine right here. Next up is the coolant expansion tank. So this is going to sit right here, much lower profile, much cleaner. It's black, so it fits the rest of the engine bay a lot better. Um, so this is, this is it's going to sit in the same location. Um, and actually, sorry, this is the top of it, I believe. So it's going to sit in the same location. Uh, nice little radium logo here. Going to be much better looking than the stock, uh, you know, kind of opaque uh, tank here. So. All right, so just to give you kind of a look inside here, this is where the PCV hose from the factory PCV plate plums back into the manifold. So we're still gonna retain that with the PCV plate, but we're gonna put a catch can in between the block and this. So all that stuff gumming up your valves, it's coming right from that, uh, from, from that hole right here. All right, so as you can see, there's the black PCV plate right here. It just has that single fitting coming out of the top right here vertically with uh, kind of this hard plastic line that's preformed going into the intake manifold. And just right off the top here, you can kind of see some oil buildup in the bottom of the, of the charge pipe right here where it meets the coupler. You can just see kind of some fluid. So that's the stuff we're gonna try to get rid of at least, uh, you know, get rid of from happening from here on out, so. All right, now that I have the intake manifold off and everything's kind of exposed down here, um, I'm gonna decide to remove the symposer right now and delete that thing out. Um, you know, this is what plums in that kind of fake noise when you go wide open throttle to kind of give the, the driver a little bit more, uh, you know, raw experience, whatever whatever you want to call it. A lot of cars come with this kind of stuff these days. But really for us, for our purposes, you know, we have a louder car now anyway, because the exhaust and the intake and stuff. And regardless, it's just a big chunk of plastic in the engine bay. So I'm just gonna remove this thing altogether. So boom, there you go. This is the Symposer, sound Symposer. This is what we're taking out. This is a lot of plastic in the engine bay, really for nothing. Thank you, Ford. Thank you. So this is the gasket that we took off of the factory PCV plate. We're gonna reuse this one. This car as it sits has 25K on it. Um, I mean, this gasket's in pretty good condition. It's a pretty robust gasket. So, you know, if you have a fairly low mileage car, you can probably reuse this, but we do sell these. So if you want one, you can go find one on the website. You know, those higher mileage cars, this will probably have been beat up a little bit more, maybe worn down a little bit more from the heat. Um, so get yourself a new one of these if you have a higher mileage car and you're doing this. And almost goes into the intake piping. For the record, any future tuning problems will be blamed on that moment right there. <laughs> So before I put the intake manifold back in, I just wanted to show you guys like how clean this setup is and how nicely arranged it is. And this is ultimately what I'm talking about with radium. They just, they just do such a good job. All the bracketry and the fittings and the hosing is so on point. You can see minimum 
once you get this on and cut it to size, it's like minimum hosing, which sometimes with catch cans, companies put them in a certain spot and there's just hoses everywhere. Um, and it's just too much. I mean, look at how short this hosing is from the can to the intake manifold. This is just money right here. Um, and then, you know, from the PCV to this catch can, it's just, you know, I mean, it's minimal, minimal hosing. And ultimately that's because where they had you put this catch can is just so convenient. First of all, it's right in front where you can grab it and take it off and empty it if you, if you need to, uh, you know, which you will from time to time, uh, depending on the health of your motor. But, uh, you know, also just it's, it's, you know, it, it moves around stuff minimally and it, it really has a factory appearance. So, um, all in all, this is just such a clean install. Really not that hard to do. A little bit tedious, but not that hard to do at all. This is this is pretty pretty easy work, so. All right, we are all done with the front catch can, the PCV catch can. Beautiful fitment, really super flush and clean. We're gonna start working on the back now, so we'll start by taking the intake off. We're all finished, all in a day's work. Uh, not totally a full day, but uh, if you are doing this like at night, maybe do one at a time. Um, always takes us a little bit longer because we're filming, but a uh, few hours in, got the job done. This stuff is so clean. It, it just, it's so clean. It looks so good. Uh, I've already kind of discussed with you the front PCB catch can. The rear can fits awesome too. The bracketing is, perfect um you know the lines are nice and tucked and short easy to install so um actually the lines are hard to install on the plastic factory fittings very very tight fit you really have to oil them up and really push hard and twist them we didn't even get them fully flush you know seated onto the fittings but we got them good enough uh but anyway um everything's plugged in ready to go so we are out of time for today for like installing and we are going to finish up with the cool expansion take so we're gonna do that tomorrow, I'll wrap this video up. But, uh, but for now, the catch cans are all finished. Check them out. All right, the last little bit here, coolant reservoir, coolant expansion tank, whatever you wanna call it. Gonna get this ugly turd looking thing out of here and uh, get the new one in. So let's start putting it together. Well, there you have it. The coolant expansion tank is done. We got our dual catch can kit, coolant tank, all wrapped up. This stuff looks really, really awesome in the engine bay. I love it. Very factory clean finish, but just enough kind of style and, uh, you know, niceness to it, kind of performance look to it to make you, make you know it's definitely performance and it's definitely modified. So hope you guys enjoyed that. If you have any questions, let us know. If you have any comments, let us know. Um, we'd be glad to help you understand this stuff more. Uh, you can obviously purchase this at edgeautosport.com. Make sure you like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks, guys.